Happily for Mike Barilla, his afternoon as the Eagles' starting quarterback was only slightly tinged by the occupational hazards of the position. For the greater part of the contest, Barilla was solidly impressive as he pitched three touchdowns, the first one going to James McAllister. On the Eagles' second touchdown drive, Barilla to Harold Carmichael teamed up four times to cover 67 yards. Barilla finished off his hot hand to Carmichael with a six-point toss that the once flamboyant wide receiver handled in an unusually business-like manner. And while number 17 finally appears to be finding the right psychological gear to play in, Barilla was amassing 241 yards passing by constantly changing targets. Tight end Charlie Young's catch and run was aided by one fine block, and at game's end, the Eagles not only had themselves a victory, but a new leader as well. Out in the deluge of Cincinnati, the Houston Oilers found themselves sliding in desperation. responsible for the Oilers' aqueous anguish was number 11, second stringer John Reeves. Cooley facing both the elements in the Oiler defense, Reeves completed 13 of 23 passes with no interceptions. Making his first start since 1972, Reeves was solid in the touchdown department as well, and this 34-yarder to Chip Myers put the first Bengal points on the board. A repeat reveals that Meyer's subtle move on Houston free safety Bob Atkins was all the slippery conditions required to trip up the defender and put Myers in the end zone. Granted, some of the pressure of the playoff confrontation was lifted by every down play calling of coach Paul Brown, but the execution was up to Reeves and his second touchdown to Myers was all any coach could ask for. Once again, superb execution by John Reeves on this play disguised the screen and was responsible for number 84, Bob Trumpy's safe passage to the Houston seven-yard line. Once down close, plain old gutty running by number 33, Stan Fritz took over, where execution left off to give the John Reeves-led Bengals a 23-point afternoon. But those 23 points were stubbornly yielded by the proud and pounding Houston defense. Indeed, the Oiler defense put its own points on the board when number 52, Robert Brazil, blocked a punt for a safety late in the game. Offensively, the Oilers ran quite effectively against the Bengals, and for the day, Oiler runners led by number 47, Ronnie Coleman, accounted for an impressive 206 yards. But the crucial difference between the two teams was in the passing department. In the first half, Dan Pastorini was minus three yards passing and wound up the day with but 10 completions in 34 attempts. 
In the third quarter, Pastorini finally got a break in his bad passing spell and hit Ken Burrow for a 46-yard catch and score. A repeat reveals a superior effort by Burrow, but the bottom line clearly read that the Oilers' playoff hopes were dashed as the far more effectively executing Bengals prevailed 23 to 19.